Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, I'm John, this is many a true nerd, and welcome back to The Witcher, where I have designs on getting into the city. But there's a plague, but potentially, if I can get literally everyone on side to, I don't know, help me stop the plague. I'm not sure, the game's implying if I can basically just get everyone to agree with me and the Reverend, then the whole village will be on my side, and then they'll, like, help me with the Scalamander people, which may or may not help me get into the city, but screw it, I feel like it's probably going to help. These things generally all go together. The first person I need to hunt down is someone right flipping around here somewhere, we were told. Maybe not this door. I'm looking for Halen something or another. -er. Apparently he's... No, you're just a beggar. Right. Is this Halen's house? Yes, yeah, sorry. Harren. Harren even. Right. Let's start off with you. Go and find Harren. Assuming you're not Harren. No, your house is just weirdly surrounded by beggars. Right. Harren, me and you need to chat. Right. Hello there, Harren Brog. I've got a beautiful ring for you to look at. G -g Greetings to the honourable gentleman. You are? Harren Brog, merchant and middleman, at your service. What brings you here, w Witcher? What do you have to offer? The re Reverend sent you, I presume? Why, yes, he did. Would you like to kiss my signet ring? Of course. W why don't I b believe you? Look, here's the bloody... Oh, I could bribe him ahead of time if I didn't want to actually bother getting the Reverend on site. Oh, I like the number of options that are available. No, have a look see at this then. The eternal f, f fire a gift from the Reverend, I presume. And the Reverend sent me, he thinks you guys need a witcher. The d -d dead emerge from the river at the night. A ghastly cold blows from the water, making my flesh crawl. Help me, I'll s spare no exp expense. Okay, fine. So, throw in a hundred orans and information about the Salamandra, and I will kill a whole bunch of these drowners for you. I heard you were looking for s Salamandra, but if so, you're looking for trouble. It's no m matter to me. You, you have a deal. These d damned undead are my concern. They scare customers off and d d destroy my crates. And this is a valuable shipment for a special client. Okay, by any chance would you sell a book about drowners? Because I'm willing to pay for that right now. Uh, he just sells some basic weapons and a few other bits and pieces, including a blue meteorite for 300. No, I can't afford any of this, no matter. So sadly, he doesn't sell the Drowner book. That's fine, need to get that from somewhere else. So never mind, I'll just go around the long way to Abigail to grab the book, and then after I'm done with that, rest until midnight. Then we can deal with that, because I don't think I know how to find the other guys yet. They're not showing up on my map. So, 200 gold, everything I flipping own, pretty much to buy this damn book on swamp monsters. But I guess it's worth it, in order that I can actually get the brains out. And now I know where their brains are located. It was in the skull the whole flipping time. Sadly, I can't sell her, her book straight back again, albeit even at uh, half price. But never mind, if I run into that guy who's selling old books in town at some point, I could sell it to him. Because I think you don't actually need to hold on to books, because once you've read a book the first time... Then you get out of that book a glossary entry that just copies the contents of the book. Then you can just sell the book itself. Speak of the devil, there's the man. There we are. Sold him all my scrolls and whatever back up to 181. He buys it like literally a fifth of the price. Very, very ungenerous. I bought that for 200. He bought it for 40. Bloody hell. Right. Midnight. Creepy music plays. Let's go find ourselves some drowners. And by the way... There's some hellhounds right flipping there. Fortunately, these guys are going to help. Oh, blimey, you guys are tough. Dear, oh, flipping dear. Oh, hello. Okay. There's something a bit special on the road here. What's one of you? Oh, wait, that was the beast himself, wasn't it? Yes, right, okay. Special sword. Special sword. In order to get the big swish. Right, swish, swish, swish. Swish, 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 and everyone else also takes a load of damage. And second attack. Okay, or not second attack combo. And you're dead too. Right. The beast himself in red appeared. And summoned a whole bunch of you bastards. Though actually I'm not sure, because I spoke to Abigail a minute ago, and she was saying, oh, the beast has the body of a lion and the head of a man. That thing had the body of a dog and the head of a dog and the tail of a dog. Basically, it was a dog, but it was slightly glowy and red, but that wasn't really a massive change. I mean, we've been killing glowy green dogs for bloody ages. No one even seems to care. Okay, we might be going into some trouble here. So let's just do a quick regen potion here. I've got plenty of these. So activate the swallow potion, get my toxicity up a little bit there, but that's fine. Get my health regen back at good speed. Don't want to bother doing anything else. 
Well, I've got some technically completely unknown potions here. Could just do those. You know what? I think we're good for now with what we've got. Got my sword. Got my... Oh, you're still here. Right, let's just take you out before we get too close to the other guys. Is it just you for the time being? I think it is indeed just you. No, he's summoning friends, unfortunately. Right, hang on. Just go, 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 go. And a bit more damage to you. Go over to the heavy style just to finish you off in one go. Oh, now your friends are all showing up, obviously. Well, in all fairness, we can kill you very, very quickly at this point. So kill, kill, kill. The cameras are cooperating, but screw it, that'll do. Right. Now, you guys are all dead, right? Yeah, you guys are all dead. Now, we know what's going to happen here. This point is where I need to protect. Go over here. And the drowners are coming. Right. Go, 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 and go, 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 and go, and they're dodging, they're apparently pretty good on the old evade, right, go for a big thing round there, yeah, just go for the hit all of them, please, no, and go, 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 and if we're lucky, that's the third, and we might also kill a few more of them, two of them down already, I'm taking a little bit of damage, but I've got plenty of health for now, I think there's only one left, go over to a heavy attack, and these guys have got, yeah, decent evade. Go for a swing. And go for a swing. And go for a swing. There we go. And then I accidentally clicked again, so that's a shame. And more of them are flipping coming in too. Right, okay. Go, 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 go. That seems to be a bit faster. Right, and over to you. And more coming in as well. Change over to you. Come on, get a hit in. Yep, yeah, fine. And second hit. And then change over to you. And more and more. Come on. That's doing good work there. And I'm taking a few knocks, but I'm getting my health back too. And all going down. Right. Plenty of corpses. Are we good? Yep, fine. Let's just do the remains. And I've got brains. And also gold. Because they had money. Right. Keep going. Find some more brains. Brain the second. And just one more. Come on, give me another brain. Brain the third! Nice. Now the Reverend is going to be thrilled with me. Though apparently there's more monsters here yet as well. Fine, so we're not quite done yet. Let's just go over to heavy attacks. Though actually, let's just try fast, see if that works better. I mean, technically it's definitely hitting more, but it's also requiring multiple hits. And apparently we're done. And who the hell are you? Kedmil Havkaran. Greetings. I don't speak your language. Nendwan Esavatgan. You'll not intimidate us, Witcher. Where's Haran Brog? He promised us some Hawker's specialties. I'm not sure I like your tone. Haran didn't mention you. I was hunting drowners. Vat Telnain! You're no Ensaid, but you're not Dwan Filth either. We'll just take our weapons, and let's part in peace. The goods are Haran's. Sorry, Ensaid, but I can't let you touch those crates. Listen carefully, Vat Gern. We're part of a 20 elf unit. Our brothers suffer from disease and hunger. These crates contain food, medicine, and weapons. We want them now, for we can't approach Vizima's walls every day. I guess I see your point. Good. We have no choice. But you do. Oh, okay. Hmm. I don't actually know whether this is the right thing to do or not. And I don't particularly... You know, we could just go and get Harren. We could just go and speak to Haran right now. Like, his house is just there. Right flipping there, in fact. Don't really want to fight this guy if I don't have to. Wait for Haran, you'll have to find your hawker specialties elsewhere. I mean, did he ever say what these were for? He said they were special stuff for a special client, but he didn't specify what that meant. I mean, if these guys know, then... I don't really care about these guys. I need to keep Haran on side. No, sorry, I'm working for Haran right now. Sorry, I'm working for Heron. You'll have to find your hawker's specialties elsewhere. Willing to die for that greedy Dwan? You're not one of them. So he is basically willing to fight me if I don't back down. Hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to lie to Haran. I'll lie to Haran and not mention this. I dealt with the Drowner, so I still fulfilled my end of the bargain. He never hired me to protect the crates. Fine. Take the goods. We're no criminals. We'll pay you. We have gold, pelts, herbs. Give me the gold. I have no use for the rest. Here. We'll take what we need now and come back for the rest later. The Drowners shouldn't bother you anymore. The fail, Vatgern. Farewell. Okay. Satisfied with that, their situation. 
And we've also met our first elf, as is typical for elves, he's a bit of a dick. Let's go speak to Harren and see if I did the right thing there. So I've killed the Drowners, unfortunately- oh dear, I have to mention the elves. Oops, I was hoping to just lie. I killed the Drowners and encountered elves. Uh, uh, elves? I don't believe I know any uh, elves. They were expecting you. Who are they? Skoyatel. Squirrels. Young non-humans. Freedom fighters. Those who did deal with them are hanged. But betray me and you'll hang too. I'll keep quiet. If it's dangerous, why do you trade with them? I have to make a l l living somehow. Either way, I did my job. My crates are s safe then? I underestimated you, Witcher. Incidentally, what ha happened to the elves? We spoke. They said their entire unit would come back for the rest of the crates. Are they m mad? D dangerous for them to come so close to Vizima. If someone were to report it. Meaning? Skoyatel heads f fetch a high price, Witcher. But b best forget you know that. No business of mine. I want my payment. Then you can tell me about Salamandra. Here's your g gold. Salamandra collect tribute from the villagers. Disobey, and they s slit your throat, set your house ablaze. Where can I find them? Ask the r reverend. He'll decide what you should know, but I wouldn't mind them gone. So just confirmation the reverend actually knows more than he said so far. We kind of already knew that, so I've earned his trust. But next up, we need to find someone else. Yes, Odo and Mikul. And next up, conveniently, is Odo down to the south. But we're literally going to pass by the Reverend, so I may as well check in on him. He's got two houses, the chapel and the house. Bloody greedy. Uh, yeah, we'll kind of swing in on him on the way past, because I've now killed and got the brains out of those drowners. So hopefully I'll get some more money from him too, just in case I run into, like, a merchant with a good thing. Oh, also there's more flipping drowners here. Sorry, a flipping drowner ambushed me. Right, go away. Get the flipping axe out. Whack him with the axe. See how that does. Doesn't do... Great, to be honest. There we go. Yeah, they're pretty good at evading that. Yeah, the axe does very little. Maybe we don't use the axe anymore. Right now, I'm not 100% sure what, like, the purpose of the weapons that aren't the main swords are. Possibly, they're, like, very specialised. Like, you know, I saw there were some axes that said, get around the path, Geralt. I saw some, like, things that said, hey, there's, like, some, uh, there's a chance to remove shield with an axe. So possibly, like, you know, if you're going up against guys with, oh, bloody hell. You know what? I'm just going to leave the drowners behind. I'm going to guess they're not allowed to go too far from water. And by the way, you guys are militia, right? So how about you help me out with this here ghost dog? So I'm not sure I can be bothered. Yeah? Yeah, look, I've got a ghost dog. Do you want to deal with the ghost dog? Yeah? Yeah, lovely. Well done. No, apparently you're terrible at dealing with the ghost dog because it's already killed one of you. Also, the drowners have indeed decided to come over here. Would you guys like to help me out with this drowner, by the way? There you are. You guys just keep him distracted for a minute. Village militia. And just finish off this here drowner. If we can actually hit the damn thing. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, I've just made a terrible mistake. Oh, I've just made a mistake. I've gone for the village militia. Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. Guys. Guys, no. No, this was an honest mistake. Honest mistake. Honest mistake. Honest mistake. How far around the world are you willing to chase me? Okay, just lead them away from town. This was an honest flipping mistake. Okay, fine. You know what? Screw you. I'm a witch. I can very easily kill you. Do you still want to fight? How do you want to fight? Okay, you want to fight too. Well, screw you. This was all an innocent mistake. Right, no one else saw this, right? No one else. Put it away. Search their bodies. Lovely. I'll have their money off them. Reverend, good news. I've killed some drowners and also lots of other people. I have drowner heads. My reward? Here. May the eternal fire illuminate your path. Okay, got myself some 100 orins. Lovely. Right, may as well carry on at night, just kill any dogs that show up. They kind of drop a decent amount of XP each, so I kind of may as well, quite frankly. Just get myself up to our next level at some point. Oh, hello! I've just ran into a ghoul. That's fine. Hello, you're a ghoul, are you? Right, okay. What do I need to do to take care of a ghoul? And... How are we doing? You've got quite a bit of health, don't you? Right. Luckily, I seem to just be able to, with the fast style, just basically keep you perma-stunned. Right, I'm going to go over to the heavy style just to get a bit more of a few hits in. That's working much nicer, isn't it? 
Yeah, that's nice. Right. So that was a ghoul right there. Also, a peasant's just been killed. You've just dropped an abomination lymph, but I can't sadly get the blood out of you because I haven't read the book on ghouls yet. Now, back by the main village, but this time, for the first time, head south. Because apparently the little hut over here I've never had any reason to go up to so far belongs to Odo, the second of the three big villages I need to talk round. Here we are, secluded homestead, including... More bloody demon dogs, of course that bloody is. Right, get them down. Right, next up, this is indeed Odo's house. Lovely. So, I've spoken already to the uh, merchant, and I'm gonna guess that you, as you have this lovely bit of armor here, you're the guardsman, right? From the blood and dents, this armor's a warrior's. But this fatso's more familiar with tankard than sword. Right, maybe he used to be a great warrior, but maybe not so much anymore. Who goes there? I'm a witcher, a monster slayer. Why enter my home armed? I have nothing worth stealing. Yes, you do. You have loads of stuff worth stealing. Have a drink with me, Master Garavant. I detest spies, and we all know spies don't drink. Let's drink, then. Okay, are we stuck in a drinking contest with this guy? I hope not. I'm not sure I've got that much. Actually, I've got a bit of booze, because I've been taking off the peasants that keep getting killed by the bloody dogs. Forgot the most important. Seen the Reverend? Abso flipping lootly. Here, have a look at my signet ring. So yeah, all three of these people I could have found already, and if I hadn't got the signet ring, I could basically talk them round by drinking with him, paying off the merchant, and doing whatever it is I need to do with the guard, uh, assuming this guy now isn't the guard. So, the reverend sent me to help. What's going on? How can I get you on side? I have this gardening problem. I'm no gardener. Let me finish. Some time ago, strange plants erupted in my garden. These plants, they're alive! Useful they were at first, devouring moles and insects. What's the problem then? Now they're as big as a man with giant branches. Luckily, they're buried underground in daytime, but I'm afraid to go near. Right, okay. <laughs> Screw it, let's just take out some spriggans. Oh, bloody hell, I need to take these things on while drunk. Oh, that's great. So all my stuff is now useless. Also, what's it attacking? I can't even bloody see. Right, get get the sword, get the sword out. Right, go, go, attack. For some reason, go, go. Keep going. Keep continuing to go. There we go. We've done some damage to it. And chop, 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 and chop, chop, chop. Nearly done, and second hit in, third hit in, and when I say nearly done, it's still got like a third of its health, and almost dead, and down it goes. Is that it, or is that, no, there's another one over there, bloody hell. Right, can I just check the remains of this thing first? Right, if my weapons are struggling to hit, let's go over to fast, because that's more accurate and likely to hit anyway. So let's just go over there, and now... No, no, come on, wake up. Look, there's there's a guy there. Just attack that. There we go. Now, go, go. Yeah, we are. You got, oh, flip, you just got a random 22 in there. Oh, yeah, this is working much, much better, isn't it? Just get these guys down and just, while it's not doing a huge amount of damage, the little end strike that seems to do loads more, like the critical to the end, is doing much nicer work. I mean, you're getting some hits in on me, but I'll heal that off later. Would you believe a giant plant isn't that good at dodging? Right, the secret garden. See Odo, collect my rewards. I've managed to beat up two plants while drunk. Tomorrow morning when I'm sober, I'm just going to put this down to a really weird dream. I've slain the monsters in the garden. Pay up. You want your 80 orans? Here. We agreed on a hundred. We drank some ale, but my memory rarely deceives me. Now listen here. All right, here's your coin. I told you not to slay monsters while drunk at night, but you insisted. You frightened me. I risk my neck for you, and you try to cheat me. Don't forget to tell the Reverend I helped you. Alright, job done with him. I've earned this guy's trust. That's a bit of an optimistic take on the situation, but screw it. And I can also level up if I want to. Yay, I think I've actually got a couple of level ups in the bag. But first little cutscene. By any chance is that dog about to explode into the beast or something? Because I feel it's a bit odd that that dog just suddenly was the centre of a cutscene. Odo's dog. Hello, Odo's dog. I'm very drunk right now, but are you trying to tell me something? 
That dog seems to be looking for something. Watch those Echinops thorns, pup. What are you guarding? What is going on here? We've got... Well, there's a locked shed over there. So I don't think I've actually seen any form of lock picking ability. What else would the dog be looking at? I don't see what else the dog wants. I'm so confused and drunk. I mean, Geralt's implying it's guarding something rather than anything else. Rather than like, you know, it's missing something I need to bring it something. Well, it's not a quest, so you know what? Maybe we'll just pass it by. Now, what's the next one? Over to the map. Who's left? Where's the last guy? Ah, way up at Merchant's Gate. Got it. You know, again, the polite thing to do would have been to give me this guy, then this guy straight afterwards. Because then they would have been close together. But no, let's just drunkenly stagger across the map for- Oh, this is going to take bloody ages. Wait, there's no- there's no fire in his place, so I can't meditate. How am I supposed to- Oh, how am I supposed to bloody sober up? Let's just double check if I speak to you, am I allowed to meditate as part of our conversation? I really hope so. Yes, I can. Oh, thank goodness. Right, that's the trick. After you've got drunk, just meditate with this guy. Beautiful. Right, you know what? Let's get herbalism sorted out as I've already paid the money for the flipping book. And also, monster lore. Not yet encountered monsters. Boom, I'll take that. That means I might have to waste so much money on bloody books. And here we are, half spin one over in the group steal. I like the group steal. The group steal's good. But also on to just strong steal, because that's pretty good as well. Let's just get damage up a hell of a lot. Yeah, oh, that's level two damage. The second attack in the... Ah... Right, that's just not like, you know, the second tier. That's actually the second attack in the combo acts like that. Well, that's interesting. We get bleeding up going on here. Crushing blow. Well, we may as well get the first tier done because we're more likely to do the first tier more often. Sure. Let's just get bleeding one in place. And yes, indeed, I've suddenly learnt an awful lot of stuff in my journal. Beautiful. Including, I just saw there for a second, ghoul blood. Nice. So, next time I run into some ghouls, I can actually kill those bastards and get the blood out of them. Also, I still haven't used my force push ability once, despite upgrading it three times. So I really, really, really need to do that. The other nice thing about this game, by the way, is if you just can kind of click far enough away, you can literally just set Gerald going, and then while he's actually going there, you can just go and make a cup of tea. There you are, I've got some tea now, and Gerald's just made his own way over here, lovely. And there's our guy between the two city guards. Hello there, McCall. You are the third and final. Halt. What? What do you mean, what? I want to enter the city. There's a... what do they call that? A, a, a quarter line. Will it last long, this quarantine? Commander's job to know, not mine. And I guess the commander's inside. Does this quarantine apply to everyone? Dunno. Have you let anyone in? People with passes, they're allowed in. I see. Let's talk. Does the Reverend know you're here? Why, yes, he absolutely does. Kiss my ring. So you know what? I'm going to guess the Reverend might be able to get me one of these passes if I help all three of these guys. Let's just get that confirmed here. Where might I get a pass? The Order of the Burning Roses got passes. The Eternal Fire fights the plague. I've seen no knights here. Would the Reverend know anything? He knows a lot. Wouldn't hurt to ask. Farewell. Right, so we know what we need to do. Get him on board. But, Mikul, while I'm here... The Reverend said you could use my help. Hmm. Uh, I've been told to get rid of those deadens. Deadens? Yeah. Commander told me to clear the crypt down the road. I've never fought beasts before. Too scared. Hmm. Deadens, you say? Please, sir. And would you believe, absolutely perfectly, I've just learned how to get blood out of ghouls, which previously I would not have been able to figure out. Like, you know, I cut them and I cut them and I cut them, I just can't find the bloody blood. Uh, but no, now that I know that, I'm very happy to do this for you. So this is just absolutely fortuitous timing, my good man. Also, I want some money. So, buried memories, kill the ghouls. Remind me, who actually wanted the ghouls dead again? The ghoul contract. Ah, yes, Kulkstein, the um, the alchemist in the first village. He wanted the three ghouls' blood. I'm not sure whether he's actually going to give me anything good for them, but screw it. Why not, eh? And conveniently, for once, the actual crypt is literally just down the road from you. Just round over there, if I recall correctly. If I can just get the place right. There we are, right. <laughs> going to go make a quick second cup of tea now. 
And on the way now, all of a sudden, I can read what all these plants do, which is very cool. Let's just help myself to some nice fruit, useful for alchemy, which I'm not doing and may well never do. Also, hang on. Ah, this thing's recharged. A place of power. So let's get my... What does that do again? I can't remember. I'd like to perform a ritual of magic, please. Right. I can't remember what that does now. Sign 10 Ah! So my force push is going to be like double power. Right. Definitely use the force push in here. Seems the contents of that bottle caused the woman's death. The ghouls came for her remains. Also, isn't that Abigail? Hang on. That really feels like Abigail. Drink the cat potion or light a torch to improve visibility in dark areas. Do I have a cat potion? Wait, hang on. No, not her. Vesna! That was her! Right! The girl's corpse must have lured the ghouls. Right! Is that supposed to be Vesna? Because it just says, girl. But she seems to look exactly like Vesna. Also, hello over there. Would you like to come and fight me? Because I've got like super magical awesome powers. Right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Alright, now prepare. Get the thing out. Right, go and... No, go. 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 Okay. Select this. Go. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Oh, wow. Okay, just one shot at that guy. That's pretty badass. Uh, though, yeah, I really need a potion of the cat, to be honest. Ghoul blood. Right, got some ghoul blood. Just need to find a bit more. Um, potion of the cat. Okay, hang on, wait. How do I... Oh, wait, I can't craft potions here. Because there's no way to craft potions outside of, like, a meditation spot or where there's, like, a cooking stove or something. I really hope I've just got a potion of the cat. No, I do not. But I do have a potion I don't know what it does. I'm going to drink it and see if it's a cat potion. It turns out that it... I don't know. It doesn't seem to have been. Maybe I can just figure this out by myself. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is... Okay. Let's just quickly run over here into a light area and we'll just fight them around here and this will be th this will be fine right yeah there we go right just go for you there we go and also just give him that there we go oh yeah that's nice and right now i'm in fast mode which doesn't feel like it's necessarily the right thing to do here i think we need a bit more power against these lads and this should be oh yeah that's a bit better and are we cool down actually you know what Boom! And... Go- Oh Yeah! Okay, that force push is amazing. Right, got some limps and some ghoul bloods. And there's also a place of power here. I feel like it's not necessarily a place of power I really... Can I put that away? Oh, hang on, where's the other one? Is, is the other one... I think that's it there. Can I see it? Just yes. Ghoul blood. Three ghoul bloods. Job completed. Right. There's there's not anything that way, because that way's blocked off. Right, through we go, into the dark room, and now we're in the hall. Now we need to... Oh, dear! Right, okay, right, go over to... Get a sword out, go into the, the thing mode. Right, and go, 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 and go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Oh, these things actually hurt quite a lot, actually. Right, pause. I need to do a potion. I need to do one swallow potion. Yes. Oh, I need to literally stop to do that. Can I do that quickly? Yes, I can. Good. I'm going to need something else as well, potentially. Uh, what else have I got to give me an edge? Because this is kind of hurting, actually. Now I've got some health going back now. No, just jump out of there. Jump out of there if you can. Now, let them come to me. My health is slowly ticking back now. Kick, kick, kick. Kick, kick, kick. And we're basically not doing anything to them, are we? Right, just get through there. And boom. Now go over to heavy hit. And just use the, he no, use the heavy hit against this guy. Oh, never mind. We killed that guy, apparently. That'll flipping do. With one of them dead. And now go, 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 go. Go, 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 and with that guy running around there, go, I'm just parrying and blocking pretty effectively right now, right, screw it, get that guy down, and you dead, and now finish that guy off, oh yeah, I love that, how did you miss, you had a really good opportunity to just kill that guy, and then to take him down, oh yeah, the new second part of the combo is pretty powerful actually, and third attack, nice, well done. Now, apparently, I've cleared out the ghouls, but there's a thing... Oh, hang on. This is a new thing. Circle of inner fire. 
Boom! That's a new shout. Sorry, not shout, spell, whatever. Igni! I should have probably run over to that and learned that first. Which I'm going to guess. Ah! That's the thing in the tutorial, or rather the video cutscene that should have been in the tutorial. Causes damage and lights fires. Oh, I know how to light fires now! Boom! Boom! That's nice. Right. Go for that. Get the sword out, please. And now just like turn around here. Now. Nice! Right, that's pretty badass. Also, there's more corpses here, so I'll just be having all of his stuff. And out of the crypt we go, job flipping dumb. And technically right now, yeah, my fire symbol is stupid powerful, because I've got the blessing of fire, 50% intensity, and also 100% intensity from the ritual of magic. So, for the next little bit of time, yeah, you know what, come and flipping bring it, because I'm the mighty, mighty fire god Hephaestus himself. And now, if I've got this correct, so, select this, and then, okay, get out a weapon. Get out a, look, I need to get it out, because I need to light this, because I've got a fire thing. Yeah, there we, ah, ha ha ha, I don't need to bother kind of casting it, now I can just light fires wherever I bloody well choose. Beautiful. Right, ghoul blood in hand, or rather in small bottles or something, I guess. Right, back to the main town. Because over in the main town, or rather in the little kind of closed off area, there's that alchemist in the tavern who is willing to presumably pay me for all of that. I mean, it is somewhere anyway, but I can't help but notice next to my old friend Zoltan, there's a new character here, Declan, who's green and named, meaning he's probably important. Finally, uh, someone sensible here. And you are... Luvarden, merchant of those Luvardens. Hang on a second, you're just Odo's character model again. Unfortunately, my friend disappeared in the cave beneath Vizima's walls. You think he's dead? I don't know. I'll pay you 200 orns to rescue him or provide for a decent burial. Will you take the job? Oh, go on then, sure, why not? We heard goods were smuggled into Vizima that way. I'll do what I can. But more interestingly, this actually opens up a different way into the city walls. He just said his friend was trying to smuggle goods into the city through the cave. So this might be a different way into the city if I didn't want to bother dealing with all that business for the past. You know what? I don't know why people would say, oh no, don't don't play the Witcher 1, the Witcher 1. But I've really been enjoying this and it's got a little bit of the New Vegas's about it. Which is, you know, there's multiple solutions. You find characters, you can use different kind of skill checks of varying descriptions, whether it be drinking contests or bribing people rather than doing quests. Multiple solutions to quests, multiple ways to progress. I've actually been enjoying this. I don't know why everyone responded who are actual Witcher fans when I said I was going to do this with... No, no, don't. Don't do that. Though on the other hand, I will point out the game is sometimes a little bit odd about characters not being where their own quest markers say they are, which is more than a bit annoying. So yeah, I've got my active quest set as uh, turning the ghoul blood to Karpstein or whatever his name is, Kalkstein, and it's saying, hey, go, you know, right here. This is blazing obviously where I'm supposed to go in the inn, but he's not in there, and he's not in this local area either, he's just not here right now. So I've tried, like, you know, going in every single time of day or night. So there we are, let's just reset time over to morning. Quest marker saying, go in here. Last time I saw him, he was sitting right there. And now, now he's gone. None of these people, I can just quickly scan all of them, and your Olaf, and your Zoltan, and your Shani over there. And then all the people down here are punching people. So he's just not in here. He's not here, even though the quest marker says this is exactly where he is, which is very annoying. So I guess the ghoul blood just remains undelivered. Oh, blimey. Okay, there's a few more people up here than I was expecting. What's going on here? Hello, I think I might need to intervene. Leave me be. I won't surrender my workshop for all the treasure in the world. Oh, this is why you weren't at your bloody quest marker. Because you were moved by the bloody quest. Oh, you absolute utter bastard. Also, then that guy showed up. That was surprising. You're ours, Witcher. You should have left Salamandra alone. This bridge will be your grave. Yeah, good luck with that, by the way. Right, hang on. Just no, 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 no. I've got some good stuff going in here. Would you guys like to help me out, by the way? How would you guys like to help me out? Are you willing to help me out? Yes, okay, good. Let's just go over and help these guys out. Right, go, 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 and go, 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 and go, go, go. All right, now, just dive out of the way. What else do we have here? And 
Boom! And that did not do much to you. Right, you know, I think I like the other one better. Right, now go. Go and just go for this guy, guy, guy. And that should be enough to finish you off. Now, excuse me. Boom, screw you. And that's... Oh, that's disarmed you, hasn't it? Yes, that has. Good. I like that quite a lot. Right, now, what else do we have here? Ah, we've got you. Let's just quickly finish you off. Let's just make sure all of your friends are dead. Right, and go, go, go. And that'll be enough to finish you off. Right, now, this guy around here. And let's just get on him. So as soon as we have the opportunity to, I will actually... Oh, he's almost dead already. Oh, well, that was easy. I didn't even need to stagger him. Thank you, Witcher. You saved me. The game didn't update his quest marker to tell me where he actually was, which was very annoying. He better not now just teleport back to his shop. I know all too well what they're after. To use the stolen secrets, Salamandra needs equipment. Without it, the Witcher's mutagens are useless. They almost grabbed Kalkstein and his treasures. They almost succeeded at Kaer Morin. Almost makes a huge difference. If I had stayed and fought the Frightener with Vesemir, I might have faced a different threat today. They were here for me. I made a choice some time back. Had you known this would happen, would you have chosen differently? No, not in the slightest. It seems to have all turned out very much fine. No. It was the right decision, and I'll deal with the consequences. I'm not surprised at your answer. You don't seem like one to look back. Visit my shop in Vizima for any ingredients you need for your potions at a discount. Farewell. Don't you dare wander off. I've got... No! No! Don't fade to black! I've got ghoul blood for him! Shouldn't have defended the old man. You come talking again. <laughs> what are you going on about? The old man comes here and talks and talks. Gives me a headache. I'll stone him next time. I wouldn't if I were you. He's a powerful alchemist. Uh, Captain said only admit those with passes. I know, I know. They're moving me to Millgate tomorrow. That's where I'll stand. If you have a pass, look for me there. I'm guessing that's going to be the other gate, but hang on. No, 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 no. One, I need to loot all these corpses. In particular, where was the main guy? Ah, you are still here. Good. Hello. I need that blood for my research. And there we are. I've received a reward in the form of a hundred orange. And now, also, these remains over here. No, leave that. Where was the sword? Hang on, hang on. I just saw the sword there. Grab the sword. Can I have that, please? Inventory is full. You cannot carry any more items. Oh, bloody hell. So I've got a Witcher's Steel Sword right now, but unfortunately I don't know whether that's better or worse than the Temerara whatever Steel Sword, because there's no numbers attached to this thing. So that's... that's unfortunate, but I've just got no bloody clue. Right, Mikul, me and you need to chat about the crypt. A hundred thanks, Master. Here be a month's pay. Ooh, the boys will be happy. <laughs> They plan to search for treasure in the crypt. Take a pick to one of the walls. I found a young woman's body inside. The ghouls came for her. Young woman? No. It can't be. My Elsa, I, I, I loved her. Chill out. There are so many corpses of young women around here. They keep being killed by dogs. It's kind of my fault for being terrible at my job. Right. And with that, that is all three of those people taken care of. Nice. Now, there's also the cave beneath the city wall... Way over here. Right. Well, we're returning right now via the beach to that side of the map anyway. We'll go and have a little look-see how on earth we'd get over to that. Because by the look of the map... Yeah, there it is. There it flipping is. So it's all the way over there. The question is, how on earth would I get over to... Unless, of course, there's a way to cut down... Aha! Ha 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 ha! There totally flipping is! There's a path right down here and a path down here as well. With a whole bunch of stuff down on this side we previously hadn't seen. Okay, missed this before. Suddenly interesting, but no. Let's just quickly chat with the Reverend. He'll get me my pass. But after he's got me my pass, I may well have a little Luxie in that cave regardless. Right, Reverend, everyone agrees I'm amazing. Give me a pass. Odo's and Heron's monsters are gone. For Mikkel, I cleared the Crypt of Ghouls. I must admit I'm impressed. You may yet defeat Salamandra. To do that, 
I need to know where to find them. I will say nothing until you eliminate the Beast Witcher. That is my condition. Oh, bloody hell. Look, I've done all you asked. I've put up those lights that's supposed to scare off the beast according to your own religion. And I've done all the things. Just give me the bloody... Wait, hang on. There was also... Well, a red dog appeared, but I didn't kill him. I just killed all the green things he summoned. Have I killed the beast? I don't think I've killed the beast. I've done all you asked. Where's the Salamandra hideout? Go to the inn, where a group of Salamandra's service has taken over. They hide in the old house. Olaf will have a key. And Witcher? Yes? Nothing. May the eternal fire shine on your soul. Tell the villagers to stay at home now. I don't want anyone getting hurt. I have no idea whether or not I've actually just successfully... <laughs> I don't know. I may or may not have killed the beast. He's acting like I have killed the beast, but I'm not flipping short. Right, no, no, we're not done yet. I want this bloody letter to enter the city, please. I want to enter the city, but I need a letter, a pass of some sort. Only Knights of the Order hold passes, but as chaplain, I have one. May I have it? You, a stranger. A stranger? Do you have any idea how much I've done for your town? Screw you, go away, I don't even like you. You know what, ladies and gentlemen, one more part wouldn't hurt. One more little, little part of the Witcher. Tomorrow, we're going to do a tiny bit more. I want to figure out where all this goes and what's going on down in that cave. So we're heading back to Olaf now. And beyond him, we are going to check out that cave, get that pass. The bare minimum, I want to get into the damn city. And yeah, we had our first little kind of sign of the choice and consequences there. So I had to take out that guy on the bridge. But it's clearly implied if I've made a different decision with, uh, yeah, whether to fight the Frightener or go straight over to Triss, that might have gone very differently. There might have been a different thing going on in that fight. So that's kind of pretty cool, I would say. So we will potentially <laughs> wrap these up. I was kind of planning for this to be the wrap up, but no, no, I want to play a little bit more because I'm actually really enjoying this. So we will probably, maybe, wrap this up tomorrow. Just walk around the stump, Geralt. We will potentially, maybe, wrap this up tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see whether I can actually resist the urge to keep playing. But in the meantime, I've been John. This has been many a true nerd, and this has been The Witcher. Thank you very much, and goodbye. We've all learnt a valuable lesson here. When people have the zombie plague, don't allow them into confined spaces with you. We should just actually, like, use cannons. Do we have cannons? Use the cannons. Oh, they've got a big hammer. That's what the noise is. And a pirate's just rammed them. Okay, I think we're, we're in a traffic jam on the sea.